Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to set a higher resolution than the native one your display supports. In this case, in this terrible computer, it only goes up to 1366 by 768 but some applications just don't fit anymore in that screen resolution, which is really annoying. Um, and here's a simple way of doing it. This is only for Intel machines with a um, integrated graphics that has a like integrated laptop screen. If you have a like an external display, you should be able to just go in here, select your screen, then go plus here, click OK, and then just set the resolution. And then that should work, but if you do this on a laptop, it just won't. It will be like bad parameters, or just be display does not support this resolution. So you have to do it some other way. Now, the easiest way I've found to do this, I think, only works if you have a newish Intel GPU. In my case, this is an Intel HD 500. So if you have this graphics control panel, then you should be okay. Now to do this, you want to go to this GitHub repository here, GE9's IDD sample driver. Now, if you have Scoop, you can just install it here and come back to the timestamp right here. But if not, then follow the steps. So you want to go over to the Releases tab, click on this, and then download this here. Take the file, extract it, Oh yeah, I need to do that. Um, and then you'll have this folder here. Now what I recommend doing is just taking this entire directory, going into the C drive, and just moving it in there. Now with that is you'll need to add the certificate. Now you should just be able to run this as an administrator. And that should work, but I find it doesn't for some reason. So the easiest way to do this is open up a command prompt as an administrator. Then you want to cd into c colon backslash idd sample driver. Then you just want to run install cert.bat. Now if it says cert mgr succeeded, then that's good. So then what you want to do is open up the device manager. So now you're in device manager, what you want to do is Add legacy hardware, go next, select install the hardware that I manually select from my list advanced. Then you want to click on just show all devices, have disk, browse. Then you want to go find the IDD sample driver, and then you want to click on that INF file. And then if you click OK, it should say this driver has an authentic code in brackets TM signature. And then you should be able to select next, and it'll just Get ready to install the device, and then you'll come up with this prompt. Would you like to install this device software? And then you'll click install. Well, then you'll click install. And you want to click finish. And now, if you close out of all these windows and open up display settings, you will see that your display is now duplicated, and you still can't set the resolution higher. But if you go extend these displays, it will come up with a second screen that you can select any resolution you want. Now what you want this to be on is duplicate, because what we're doing is we are tricking Windows into extending our display to another device. But So we want to open up option.txt and simply just remove everything but the mode that you want to have selected. So for this example, I want my display to run at 1080p, but if you're doing this on a 1366 by 768 laptop, I would actually highly recommend 1600 by 900. It means that it's still readable, but it's not too high resolution, um, so it just is better. So you want to close out this file, so what you should do now is you should then reboot your computer. I don't want to update. Okay, so now that we have restarted the machine, what you can now see is nothing's changed. Unless it has, but ignoring that. So you should now be able to go into the display settings on Windows. Then you'll still be duplicating your display. 
then if you go here, you should be able to select the higher resolution you added in this file. And then you can just disable scaling. And now your laptop screen is displaying a higher resolution than it otherwise would. Now this method does have some downsides, and that is if it's a full screen game, sometimes it may not like the fact that you're deprecating it and it just wouldn't work. There's not really much you can do about that, but you shouldn't really be running games at a higher resolution than your display can support. Um, this resolution also does have the downside that it might break HDDCP when it comes to watching like Netflix or something. I haven't tested that personally, um, but it might. But what should really just happen is it should display on your laptop screen, but not display on the output of the virtual display, which you can't see anyway, so it doesn't matter. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Um, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.